Hi, my tubers. How was everyone today? How do you like that? How do you like that my tuber thing? <laughs> All of my tubers. How do I have somebody like it already? As soon as it's on her. Who's on her? Oh, my favorite one. <laughs> my biggest fan. That's awesome. All right, people. Look, today we are going to be dealing with Scar, the reticulated python. I was screaming and people barking, or dogs are barking because somebody must be here in the back. Let's go see what's going on here, shall we? What is the problem? What is your proverbial problem? Did you want to be on live? Know what it is? Huh? What's your problem? <laughs> what? Love? That's right. Love. All right, back to your business now. Can you see your out there and tell them to go away? Edward Tindall is live, and I'm not. Unless there's somebody here to pay me and then collect. All right, people. <laughs> now, we're going to be dealing with ridiculous things. Scar and sunshine. Sunshine's asleep in a deep shed. And, um, but I'm going to clean this cage out because some people like to see how maintenance goes and everything else. So I'm going to do that. We might talk about some tarantulas and stuff. And um y'all get to see scar and how i am able to manipulate him to do what i want him to do he's got him out he's out you don't get to see him very often take him out yeah 31. all right people without further ado i do i do i do the roll i don't know if y'all can see or not to see or not to see is the question Need you to be able to see good. I'll wait till I get some people in there. And my camera. I do not have a camera. That camera sucks so bad. So I'm having to do live videos with you guys. The good thing and bad thing about the live video, anything can happen. He wants to be on Edward Dental YouTube. Yeah, he does. Hey, House of Invertebrates. Crow Mother. She thinks you guys are amazing. Cool. Who would not want to be on Edward Tindall's YouTube? That's true. I love you guys. Thank you all. Oh, and I seen a while ago, I've got almost 12,000 subscribers. Thank you all so much for your support. It has been an amazing four or five years or however many years I've been doing this with you guys. I wish y'all could have caught me when I was younger and more badasser, but what you get is what you see now. That's all we can do. Um, until I get a better one. I'm just going to have to deal with live videos. And I apologize for that. This is a very dangerous snake. Because of his upbringing, he was put in a bag. I've said it on other videos before. And uh, it's time to clean his cage. So when I go to clean his cage, certain precautions need to be taken. I'm doing 10. And finally, made it in time for a live. It's almost 11 p.m. here. I was ready for bed, but saw... This and decided against bid. All right, hopefully we're gonna do all this and nobody will get hurt today. All right. Now, one of my techniques I use for him, because he's so big and powerful, I'll take his water bowl out of there because I keep him water 24/7. But I'll take it out of there for three to five days where he has no water, and then I'll open this up, hoping that he wants to climb in here. He gets the water on him, and he'll go in there with no problem. And then I can pick the whole container up after it's clean, steam mopped, and everything else, and put him back in there. So that's the idea. That's the plan. And it ain't going to hurt him to go three to five days without water. I know for a fact that I went two weeks without water. Less the dew I was licking off of a cactus, because I've seen deer doing that, and it seemed to be making them survive, which wasn't very much. So he would be absolutely fine. But I want to tell y'all how I deal with this guy. Every retake has to be dealt with different. I also got him try to be hook trained. I'm going to remove my flip flops so I can maneuver a little bit better. So, Scar is hungry, thirsty, and horny. Okay, hon, Sunshine State. Hello, you. Yeah, I, used to, I was born in the Sunshine State because we're talking about Florida. All right, people, where's the lid? While Sarah is cleaning this cage, 
I'm going to clean the kitchen while Sarah's steam mopping it. The way we got it set up, I will do. I will show you all sunshine because sunshine is a lot more caring and loving a snake. And snakes can be trained. Everybody says you cannot train a snake and they laugh at me and call me dumb. But snakes can be trained. Everything can be trained. Just like I'm going to manipulate him, which is a way of training. I'm training him to do what I want him to do because he's bigger and powerful than me. Hopefully, everything will go well. And he'll go in this cage. If he does not, and all hell breaks loose, try to grab my laptop so he don't break it. If he grabs a hold of me, do not kill him. Whoa. Unless he's killing me. Come on, buddy. This is another reason. The way this snake is, he'll never leave me. He'll live with me until he's dead because he is in a special type of snake. You just can't. Anybody can't just have him because he has bitten people before. He bit me before anyway. Not people, but he's bitten me before. There's a video of that. What happens when feeding big pythons goes wrong? Or what happens when feeding big snakes goes wrong is the name of that video. <coughs> Y'all can look at that. This is Scar. I'm watching. I'm watching. What people say. I don't read those comments, but I don't want to get tagged in my ear either. You can't be playing that at the same time as slowing this video up. Do not get two things played. Turn it off. Turn it off. I'm not, I don't want to do a live and it be lesser qual video quality. Come on, Scar. Come on. I'll show y'all. I'm manipulating him to do what I want him to do. We're going to thoroughly clean his cage. Once he gets out here and into his bucket, he sees there's water in there. Hopefully, he'll come for that. Come on. Come on, Scar. Come on. In the water. In the water. Broke my hook. Do that. The heavy snake people. I'm still going to use this to manipulate this. You want the other one? No, nope, I want to get him in here. Things can go smooth or not smooth. He's got about a four to five foot strike range on him. Sometimes he's calm, sometimes he's not. When he sees there's water in here, hopefully he's going to get right in there. If you don't, y'all don't worry. I am a professional. Know what I'm doing. It might seem like not sometimes, but got this. And he's going in there. See the water. He's thirsty. Let's see what's going on. He's going in there. He's thirsty. He's drinking. Now, my idea is to get him the rest of the way in there so he's comfortable. Put this lid on there. And let him tap him slowly over here. I wish you could this was where people can see. Nobody can see what I'm doing. Don't put your He's drinking water and I'm slowly getting him in here like I want him. That's why the snake doesn't get hurt. I don't get hurt. Because I do believe my crazy redhead would kill this <laughs> snake if he grabbed a hold of it. I didn't kill it last time I got a hold of you, did I? Yes, I was begging you not to. You was not begging. Now people can go back and watch. <laughs> I did you not do before we started filming. So here he goes in here. He's uh, in there. You're not going to that right there. All right, here goes Scar in here. I'm grabbing a hold of him, making him a little bit uncomfortable, a little bit nervous. So he can go in there. He's going in the box. Y'all see what's going on? Here? What's going on is he's getting very upset that Edward is driving his tail. Yes. So I'm going to keep my tail and get him to go in that container. Hopefully. It'd be better for you to grab the end of his tail. No, because I don't want him to jolt out of there. Him. 
when you grab their end of a retake's tail, they believe that something's got a hold of them and they're ready to fight. His head is going that way. All right, I'm trying to get him in here best I can without getting. Yeah, he's going. He's going. Do y'all see this, people? Tell me, a snake can't be trained. A snake can be trained. Yes, I'm getting him used to doing this off cam, so I can make it happen easily on cam. And he is in there. He's completely in there. He's completely safe now. Go look. That's the best way to take care of that bad situation. I am unscathed. Let's see what some of you guys say now. <clears throat> Calgary, somebody said. Cade Browers. Hi. Alberta, Calgary, Alberta, Canada. What's up, Canada? Hey. Yes, the scar's okay now. I have to tell you guys, I'm gonna clean some of this stuff off. We gotta wash that glass. We gotta do all that. Where's the garbage bag? Hold on, man. I'll help you. I'll get that. Okay, y'all are talking amongst yourselves. That's great. Go keep keep it going. I love all the comments because I like going through after the videos and be able to see what went on. Edward, your snake is gorgeous. Yes, it is. Thank you, Alison Invertebrates. Real quick, I said this in a lot of uh, videos, but all you guys that are watching, if you can go back and forth and subscribe to each other, it, uh, it's a good way to show uh, show love to your fellow YouTubers and my YouTubers. So, we're going to get this going. I like using these... Uh, Clorox disinfectant wipes. Wipe all of the scars, the saliva off of the windows inside and out. Um, Sarah's getting that. Uh, this is mainly a maintenance video. Later on in the video, if y'all stay tuned with me, I'm going to pull Jabba the Hut out and introduce him into a different container so we can feed him lots of Dubia roaches. If he's hungry, so y'all uh, stick with me for that. And if you don't have the time to stick with me, come back later on after the video. Um, y'all can see. Okay, see what goes on. I need to close this. So here, actually, take some of these. Get that inside window as much as you can. I get the other one. If you steam mop it, I will do go inside. I gotta go inside this container to thoroughly clean this. We do this about once a month. We clean this cage about once every, I'd like to say every week and a half, I guess. About once every week and a half, unless he messes it up. Then it will be uh, sooner. We get all the old paper, everything out. We got steam mopping, let scar soak for a little while. The idea of training the snake to go there is having the water in there. So if he goes a couple of days without water, his survival instinct will kick in while to go in there. A lot of people might think that that's not right, but it works for me. The snake's in 150% better condition and circumstance than he would have been in if I did not have him in my cure. Um, yeah, I see you got most of it. Um, you want to get the vacuum? Room, I had that room here with you. Mikey's got it on the Oh, room. Give me a wood. Um, I'm gonna bring sunshine out for you guys in a minute. I need some water, baby. Right. Okay. 
get disinfected in there and mess it up. Alright, we'll clean this out and while Sarah is uh, steam mopping this, I will give you guys sunshine. I will be doing a feeding video on these soon. I just like thoroughly clean their enclosure before I feed them again. That's why I have to do the whole process over again. What's people say? Give me some comments for that. Comments for love. Um, we go up and go through it. Um. I do not like the uh, stuff that I put on the bottom Ellison here. Said, finally made it in time for a live at almost 11 p.m. here. I was ready for bed and saw this and decided against bed. I've got all that. Um, I mean, any new ones? They're talking amongst themselves. House convertible. It's not much, man. Waking up. Well, I was trying to get on a little bit earlier today because I'm not on. I'm on late most of the time. Alright, sir. You can steam back that. Sans 303 says hi. House of I got through this amount if you did that. Uh -huh, you are right, Sarah. We have a lot of people on there. No, I'm gonna start reading some of your comments while Sarah is steam mopping that. After you steam mop that. And wash that. Uh, you can see how I have it's clear and have it's not clear. And it's hot in here. It's 80 degrees. Yeah. I can lay in that tank. All right. Let me see. Way to go. Put on that old double S key. You're right, Sarah. Canada is falling as well. Canada is falling as well. I might have to go through all this stuff later uh, and find out. Hate to hear Canada is falling. Lots of love from New Mexico. I love New Mexico. Uh, I went to Carlsbad, New Mexico one time. I went down into the Carlsbad Caverns five miles under the earth. That was pretty freaking cool. From Crow Mother. If you haven't been there, you should go. It's really badass. I would suggest going in the winter when it's like 10 below zero so you can see how warm it is in there. Um, the bird is not saying that. I think the bird, it did say the F word when we got it, but I've been trying to replace that with love. Every time he says that, I say love. Um, pretty much means the same thing, I guess. Just sounds a little bit better if you say love, so. Instead of F you, he's saying, I love you. <laughs> love you. And he says, love, 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 love. Whoa. Um, Robert Berg, Fiber Keeper is awesome. Yeah, I watched Viper Keeper bitch slap a uh, black mamba with a stick like this upside the head up against the wall. It almost ate his ass up. That was not cool. For the snake or the or the keeper. Dangerous situation. I'm going to get sunshine on my shoulder makes me happy. Y'all can see her. I can give her some water here in a little bit. All right, sunshine on my shoulder makes me happy. She can be handled a little bit different. Paper towel roller usually does miracles. She is heavily asleep. Like, she's alive. She's really asleep. 
Whoa! See, she's got. She's awake now. She don't live on feeding her or what? Hey, hey, she's in deep shed too. She's uh, deep blue. I won't let her know that I'm not feeding her. Just get her. Taking her out to y'all. What a deep blue baby looks like. Whoa! Here's sunshine in deep blue. Hey, darling, you're okay. Okay, Daddy's got you. Put her on me. Let me sit back with you guys. Sarah cleans. Hey, darling. Yes, most uh, snakes when they're in deep shed are really aggressive. Not her. If she was to bite me in my jugular vein, I would die right here on live. But she's not that type of snake. She's a sweetheart of the retake world because most retakes are, they have a temper, temper on them. She's about 10 foot now or maybe a little bit more, I guess. Absolutely beautiful. Sunshine makes me happy too. Thank you, Allison. Cuthbert, small town exotics. Yes, it is a beautiful snake. I absolutely love her. I absolutely love my son who named her. Sunshine on my shoulder makes me happy. Tyndall, what a mouthful. You know, I can tell you put a lot of thought and love into that name. Look at her. I don't like messing with her when she's in shed, but you guys got to see what's going on from time to time. And this way I can keep the show going without you guys having to just see me. I can look at something else. And I finally got around to sexing all the molts. Just so y'all know, I do have another Brachiopelma Smith Eye female, I found out. So I'm sitting on two Brachiopelma Smith Eye. No, three females, huh? Do I have a male? Yeah. Okay, I got, huh? No, a smith eye. Mikey is not a smith eye. I don't know. I got two or three female, two or three females now. I don't know. The Heterosco Dramaculata is also a female. So I have a HMAC female, friends. We have a PR Minya that proved out to be a boy. I don't remember which one because I sexed it and I didn't, I threw the paper away so I didn't get to see. But one of them is a boy. So we will be breeding our HMAC girl i had a really i can't show y'all but i can explain it to you what happened here here is avic avic number six avic avic no avic avic number five i'm sorry avic avic number five and i wrote on there it has four flaps now tarantula sex organs are all different from each other the males have nothing, and the females have a little flap inside of the uh, inside of the abdomen. If you spread it apart, use a soapy water or whatever, you can manipulate that, and you'll see a little flap. That, and I have six thousands of tarantulas. This abic abic number five was a female, and it has individual four flaps, spermatheca or whatever it's what houses the sperm. There's four. Four of them, just like this. So you have the book lungs that are like pages of a book. And then right here is four flaps. So I'm thinking she could be bred four times by four different fathers and have four different sex by four different fathers. But bred all at once, holding sperm if she don't shed it out. Or if one male has multiple inserts, she could double or triple clutch. I'm not sure. What to think about it. I wanted to mention it to you guys because it's interesting and I just wanted to share that with you. Very interesting. Give y'all a quick update on the Sarah's Neo Hotel NC Gold Communal. We put it in the Carabina Varsity Color container, but if you look closely, you can see the Neo Hotel NC container. We had a Varsity Color dye in this and I used it to uh, house them. There's five of them in here and they have totally webbed everything. I highly recommend Neo Hotel NC Gold to anyone because Neo Hotel NC Golds are absolutely amazing. Lots of fun. And 
I have still myself had no problem with having them communally. Although a lot of more famous and more, uh, more uh, known YouTubers and experts alike will say that they've lost them or end up with one big spider. I have not. There's five in there. There's 11 in the top container right there in the make remake of Zelda Neo Italiancy Gold Skull Tula container based on Zelda theme. Still 11. We still have six of Vicularia of Vicularia and the communal of Vicularia Vicularia thing we got. We have. I wish I was filming earlier and y'all could have seen the Hanuma Villa Samika. It was right here spread out this far, this big, wanting to breed with this P. fasciata male, which I needed to do an update on anyway. Here's the female in here. There's the P. fasciata male. They've been courting each other since um, 8 22, 2018. They've been together. The male is living back there. The female is living there. I fed her last night a fresh shed dubia. I've been feeding him, so those two are doing good. But this guy is tapping and making the hand of Phyllis Amica hot and bothered. So, um, I'm going to do a communal ASAP. Yes, there you can do communal with Goody, which is a more expensive communal and could be a dangerous. If you don't keep them properly, like I do, and I say I keep them properly because I will put a piece of potato that I can remove on during during maintenance to keep the roaches that I keep in there eating eating the potato instead of eating a freshly molted tarantula. So I got all the setup, everything they need to be housed communally. But I, I remove the, the possibility of them wanting to survive by eating each other. I eliminate cannibalism 100% by putting a potato, putting more feeders than there are spiders, and letting the feeders eat that so that they don't eat the spiders. Because everything will eat everything in this world. People even eat each other. Like a uh, plane crash not too long ago, there was a bunch of people that were just regular people, but they got hungry and they started eating each other. Blue 90s is our record. It's hot as hell here. Let's see if my hair is a little bit. Oh, look at this. I don't like switching. You don't like sweating? I don't like switching. Well, her cake is done. Okay. Yeah, I'll show it everybody. Um. All right, y'all say goodbye to Sunshine on my shoulder. Makes me happy. We got 12 people watching and seven likes. We get 12 likes. I really appreciate that. I'm going to show y'all guys some good stuff. This is my baby. You can see her eyes are blue. Yes. You don't know how blue her eyes can be when, when she says when she says she loves me. Look at this. Look at these side pits right here. She's absolutely awesome. This is a reticulated python. Python with a bad name. Man eaters. No man eaters. It's all... On how you're raised, people, is how you act in life. She's just. Oh, oh yeah, that's another uh, thing y'all said. My baby. Another thing y'all said you can't train animals. This animal is trained. She's trained to love me and not bite me oh, and not baby. bite anybody else. Even when she's in her most bitey stage, baby. which is in deep blue, y'all can see. Hi, baby. See her. You know, look at how red she is. She is absolutely precious. And it's because she was raised differently than Scar. She was raised being held every day and loved on by multiple people. And now she's a people snake. She's a people snake. Whoops. She does not like going back in her cage once she is out. Don't blame her. Kind of small. Working on her a room next year's project. Next year's project, she will have her own room. Scar will have his own room. It'll be awesome. Water features, waterfalls, everything. And y'all will live in Libya loving it. Um, now I gotta finish the scar cage. Let Sarah read some stuff. So you can see what I have. I love A1. What's A1? Oh, A1 sauce. Now, Scar bites me again. 
We'll do a DIY cooking big reticulated python video. You're and, we'll, funny. and we'll put some A1 on them. Because it is an everything in everything world. Try to eat me, I will eat you. Want that? Huh? Yeah, I bet you want. Yeah, he bit me and put me in the hospital. Oh, you got this all steam up? Yep. All right. Yes, I can get in this cage. That's the biggest snake I've ever seen. Takes one to know one. Y'all have to be empathic to the snakes once in need. You have to put yourself in their position. So, would I be happy in this container? I don't know. It's a. I don't know. It's a species, Albano Edwards. Yes. <laughs> and newspaper again. I do not like the linoleum that I placed in here because it's grooved, making it hard to clean. So I'm probably going to end up changing this when I move it out of this room to a uh, tile floor. And this is going to be his winter. You never know. Be his and her winter cage because I'm going to have them in an indoor outdoor vivarium, basically about the size of this whole room per snake with a quarter of it being a concrete water feature where they can get, get their whole body in the water if they want to. Lily pads, fish, everything. And uh, that's going to be awesome. And that way I can expand their growth. I can go ahead and let them get 20, 25 foot long, about that tall. And they'll be easily to maintain because I'll have a self-sufficient, uh, very functional room for them. And I could even control the outdoor. That I could in, I could control the uh, temperature with, I guess. So, did you get me that thing for the frog yet? All right, well, I need a thing for the frog. We're going to do a job of the hut. Y'all get to see him and all his glory eating here in a minute. Y'all stick with me. Y'all haven't subbed and you're just tuning in. Please sub to my channel. 
I am growing at an increasing rate. And I'm going to be bringing better content. The only reason I'm having to do live now is because my camera is broke. I cannot afford a new one at this moment because I got other projects going on. So, this side's done. We will go to the other side. I don't like putting the smooth types of paper down for my snakes. So they should go to the side. They're not good. Yes, uh, when I build the indoor outdoor area, maintenance will be a lot less because the way I'm going to set it up, there'll be a jungle on the inside, and the actual snake feces and stuff will be eaten by the trees and plants that I have in there. Give me a couple more pieces of paper. Go. I'm going. Right, we can't do it and we keep it 80 degrees in here. One reason I'm sweating because of all the tarantulas and all the snakes and everything else. It's probably about 78 degrees in this container because of the way it's set up and where it's positioned, which is fine. But the ambient temperature in this room is 80 degrees. And in the winter, I keep it around 78 to 83 degrees. That way I've always got high metabolism in my tarantulas. And I raise tarantulas to an adult stage faster than anybody that I know. Probably the fastest on the planet because I keep them warm and I feed them as much as I'll eat. And it's not harmful to the spider at all. I learned that from my uncle because my uncle got a brachiopelma smith eye when he was 10 years old and he kept it for 33 years and it was an adult female when he got it wild caught and he fed it everything it would possibly eat so that's how i know you can feed a tarantula as much as you eat and grow it as fast as you want and it will not be detrimental to the tarantula's health in any way because if they're not hungry, they're not going to eat. You got Allison. People um, are probably the only species on earth that eat when they're not hungry. House of Invertebrate is a pretty good guy. Uh, Tennessee Tarantula is a. If anybody's watching my channel, they're a great guy. Small town in Scottish, Allison Cuthbert just did my nine year old Harry a shout out. Who's begging me for a banana spider ball? Big shout out to nine year old Harry for shootout. Nine year old Harry, spider ball python is awesome. Grab a spider ball, show, show a spider ball for uh, nine year old Harry. A banana spider is what he wants. We don't have a banana spider, but uh, we do have a dream. We have a dreamy spider. Then we're going to put him back. Sometimes drinking her water. Or no, she was drinking. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Here is a dream bee spider. Ball python. Yeah. Nothing wrong with a dream bee. <laughs> Dream B spider ball. Yes, you're welcome. Number three for Amber Alert. All right, who's uh, saying about Amber, Amber Alert? What's going on? Right, you're going to make his week. Thanks. Yes, I, ho I hope it does. Edward Tyndall, YouTube will never get too big to shout out anybody or spend time teaching or talking to anyone ever. I will always be myself, no matter what happens, no matter how poor, no matter how rich. Because bottom line is I love people. I just got to reshape people in my image and my likeness so they uh, 
They love the things I do, which is everything that breathes. With the exception of some mosquitoes and ticks and fleas and shit that tries to eat me. That's too small for me to get off. Right, no good. No problem, God. Hold on. The spiders are everywhere. Here. No problem, guys. All those who have YouTube channel, check out Mad Invertebrates and Reptiles. Check out Mad Invertebrates and Reptiles. I'll check them out, too. I don't think I'm sub to them. Edward, they are good first-time uh, snakes. Uh, are they good first-time snakes, the ball pythons in general? Uh, a lot of people say they're first good times, a uh, good first time snake. They do require a couple different temperature things than most of them, but uh, uh, yeah, I'd say yeah. You do research, anything could be a good first, as long as you got your research and you're ready to do what needs to be done. But uh, these are awesome first time pets. I. I personally would recommend as first time pets, uh, like a corn snake or something like that, but it, there's no comparison in a corn and a ball. I mean, a ball Python does not, uh, mess up the enclosure as much as a corn snake or a rat snake would because they got a higher metabolism, but, uh, depend, and that actually depends on how much you feed them. If you feed the hell out of them, they're going to poop. You just got to keep them clean and keep them clean, keep them water bowl newspaper not the slick kind or you can go all out and get them different kinds of uh uh whatever the reptile experts recommend could get more costly everybody's different hello dea what's up everybody's different i personally put my uh my snakes on black and white newspaper because it's got a natural insecticide in the paper that is harmless to snakes and it keeps mites down i've noticed a lot of people that I don't have mice in anything in my room as of right now. Um, but I noticed a lot of people that keep them on shavings and stuff like that. Or I bought ball pythons that were on uh, mulch of different types and they don't clean it. If you got newspaper, you can clean and disinfect as you, as you need to. But when you keep them on mulch or something, and if you don't clean them properly, they will get mites and respiratory infections and all kinds of stuff I've had to deal with in the past. Hello, House of Invertebrates. I have not picked up a reptile yet. Well, it's never too late as long as you're breathing, friend. Um, but yes, we are going to put Scar back in there. Um, here in a minute. Where is Sarah? We're going to get Jabba the Hut out for you guys here in a minute. And y'all can see the biggest, or one of the biggest frogs on the planet. Eating his fill. Hopefully, all goes well with that. I'm waiting on Sarah's while I keep showing you this guy. This is a orange dream spider ball. Orange dream spider ball, people. All right, I got 12 likes. Love you guys. The eggs, DEA, still have not hatched. Y'all can see. Update on the eggs. Still have not hatched. One of them has shriveled up into nothingness. But I'm guessing they're going to make it. And if they don't, I do have a couple of these. Another good first time pet. These can be strikey if you don't handle them all the time, though. Corn snakes, or rat snakes. These are uh, Everglades rat snake head for Skillis. Say hello to your fans. Sarah! I'm waiting on Sarah. She's getting me something. Hold on. Go somewhere. Go somewhere. Sarah will be back here in a minute. While you guys are waiting, we have the turtles. Can you get his 
All right, we're going to do double in a minute. Did you give me a container for double? Not good, All right. I want to feed these turtles real quick. Red air sliders, gift from my son, which was a gift from his principal to him. Um, see, they're looking good. I have another video. Let me see. Almost had a guy. Almost got a baby pixie, but I got three new additions instead. I'll post the video for tomorrow. Awesome. I love it. Form is like YouTube, a snake in with her only reason being no. Whoa. Alright, so big shout out to her nine year old. Got to show a spider. Um wait one second. Let me show the other spider. This is one of the more famous spiders in the world, the more infamous spiders in the world. I call him Spide. He belonged to um, Kevin at uh, Nerd, New England Reptile Distributors. He sold him to another guy after he produced the world's first Spide. And this one's in deep uh, free shed. But he sold him to another guy and then it changed hands a couple more times. But this is the first creator of the very first spied ball python, which is a all white snake with a spider ball python head. And he's fairly big. When I got him, he was on dry eco earth, had a respiratory infection, was stuck in three sheds, had three eye caps over his eyes. I had to hand pull each shed off of him, cure him of his respiratory infection, which seemed to take a small forever. And we, uh, Got him back into good health again. So that is the other one. What was that kid's name again? I don't remember. Huh? Well, head back out. I wanted to show this for the nine-year-old. Whoever the nine-year-old was, I wanted a spider, banana spider ball. So there you go. Oh, we got something for him. Yeah. That little bit of a... Where's the hand clip on? Oh, that's it. Now give me one second. No good, Edward. Are they first time snake with pythons? Edward did answer that. Well, that's the fancy tarantula that you had. That instead of pixie frogs. No. But it's good what you got. I live with my dad, and he has Parkinson's disease. He allows me to get in tarantulas and watches our channels, but doesn't allow snakes. All right, friends. We've got a couple things going on. We're going to transfer Scar back into his cage. Yay! Keep his paper. Y'all hear Ozzy just say, yay. That's hilarious. Oh yeah, sir, bought my paper, so I'm going to finish fixing his cage and then we're going to transfer him, then we're getting the fixing frog out. World's second largest frog, the Goliath bullfrog, being the first largest frog in the world, almost extinct. They are awesome. They can make a single leap 10 to 15, 20 feet. They are absolutely huge. I've seen people hold them like this and they just go to the ground. Unbelievable. You can see why they're extinct. I myself am a frog eater, and I can just no, imagine I what a frog with that. legs that big around and that long would be. I've been eating American bullfrogs for about 35, 
years now. My kids got a binky when they were a kid. I got a frog leg to gnaw on. I didn't have, never have a binky, and I've been eating frogs ever since. But I love, I love keeping them as pets too. So here's Scar. He is a lot better off now. But he's got a safe way to rehouse a dangerous snake. Uh, washing machine. I have to find everything, but she does. All right. This snake is freaking heavy. Are you going to put him in there? Uh, yes. Of course. You know how to safely transfer a score. And this is how you do it. I would call this a successful transfer. Move the lid. Shield yourself with the lid. Close the door. Boom. Scar has his water. Scar has his self. In a good spot now. He's got a clean enclosure. And he can enjoy life. A little bit more. Retakes love water. So, that's a training method that I use to be able to handle a potentially deadly man eating snake. And it works for me. Hello, Ozzy. <laughs> Oh, he's having a fit. I'm not a frog person. Edward is. A frog person. Watch, you're going too fast for him. Uh, Ozzy, coming into the reptile room. Yes, I love frogs as pets, and I love to eat frogs. Just depends. Check out Ozzy. Awesome bird voice. Alligator ever both. Yeah, I'll take alligator over both too. I uh, I've ate probably more alligators than most people ever see in their entire lifetime. I didn't even know it was against the law to eat alligators until I watched most of my uncles go to jail <laughs> when I was growing up. But I didn't know. But yes, we uh, then my family had a gator farm, so I ate a lot of illegal gator and a lot of legal gator. Back before I was even, that was before Florida was even really developed very good. Out in the web area, I grew up in the web area on thousands and thousands and thousands of acres. My mom had about 4,000 of these birds, red ones, green ones, blue ones, all kinds. Someone burned them out and they uh, opened up the cages and you could watch these birds flying on fire out to the sky out into the sky and just falling to their death and uh and uh that's one of the reasons there's a lot of these loose in florida right now because if they didn't release them they would have all been burned to death but it's good because they're kind of going extinct in the wild because they use their feathers and stuff because i can see yeah show them your feathers show them your feathers show how pretty they are yep beautiful yeah they use these for all kinds of indian headdresses and stuff i guess um Township song. Do they taste different? Illegal versus legal? Not really. No, not really. I like my alligator. I like if, if you cut the alligator's tail down and move the meat. There's another little inner loin inside of the gator's tail that is absolutely delicious. And then the um the uh. uh what so yeah the inner loin is really good and then the jaw meat on an alligator is really good there's several different types of meat on there that all taste different it's absolutely amazing i like taking mine in little chunks and you uh dip it in butter melted butter and then uh coat it with blackened season and get you a cast iron pan and have that cast iron pan really hot drop it drop little pieces like that on there and uh let it be there for about a minute and 20 seconds and then you flip it over for another minute and 10 or 15 seconds and you talk about something good you'll never ate a steak that tastes better i promise you it'll make a tadpole slap a whale <laughs> oh that boy yep 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 and yeah, that's ozzy all right, so we're going to do the bullfrog. 
the uh, African bullfrog. Huh? Who said he said what? He uh, said he what? Said oh, yeah. Hey, you say it with your fans? Hello. 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 Hey, hey. I see hey. hello. Oh, he could take an eyeball out in a hurry. Yep, you get him where you like. All right. Let's, let's, <laughs> 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 this bird. Oh, Hello. My breath now. Hello. Yep, this bird is absolutely Hello. funny as L. Funny as L. He's not doing it. He usually does the L symbol, people. Show him, Mikey. Hey, do it. <laughs> Don't bring down my house. <laughs> All right. We're going to do the pixie frog. I'm going to take Mikey and him. You're going to have to keep him. These birds require a lot of uh, a lot of people around them. They like uh, they like attention. And if they don't get it, they will let you know. He can fly a bird a little bit ago. Yep, Ozzy can fly finally. He's gaining back all kinds of strength. He flew, 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 flew. Missed his perch by about that much and just spluttered to the ground. He's like, what happened? <laughs> but uh, he's, he's, I'm going to have him a fly fan. Or I might hook, hook a uh, hook a thing to him and take him out where I can fly him. He doesn't get to be able to fly. All right, what are we seeing? What are we seeing? The pixie frog. Pixie frog, people. All right. Java, the hut. Yes, yes. You gotta go this little bitty thing. Where's the D3 powder? I need. Uh, D3 powder, righteous. Oh, there it is. Okay. Get him. Whoa. Java. I wanted a bigger container to put him in. But this is what we have to deal with, people. I asked for a huge container, and so I brought me this. Stuff all over the place. Oh. There's no D3 in there. No, it should have been. There's not. Are we out of D3? I think. Are you serious? I thought I had a whole new jug of it. I don't think so. Uh, oh, there's not. I know I brought one up here. I needed something dry that I can put these in so I can put some D3 on. Can you find me a D3, please? Oh, I didn't bring this one. There's a very little bit in here, but it's not very much. It might be enough. Oh, I've got to order more D3, people. It's not very much. Do you have any more or not? No, I don't think so. All right, well, i got to get more D3. Oh, there was one on the glider pad. Where you put the rest of it in the glider food. Yeah, we go through a D3 like it's, like it's nobody's business. All right, this is Jabba the Hutt. I'm going to handle all this stuff. And do it. All right, can y'all see? If y'all have not watched Pixie Frog Man, when you get done with this, watch Pixie Frog Man. If he's hungry, he'll eat. Yep, y'all watch him laugh him up, people. He's a job of the hut. He don't play. And he's been known. He is badass MVP and coup all day. He's got his little paradox spot. I love this frog. He is amaze balls. Anybody who don't love Job of the Hut, y'all might as well unsubscribe right now. This frog is one of my best friends. Whoa, he just back kicked. <laughs> you gotta love the job, people. 
Yeah, y'all watch Pixie Frog Mayhem. It's a video that I made called Pixie Frog Mayhem. And it has him from a little bitty quarter-sized little thing all the way up until what he is today. He loves Dubia Roaches. Vitamin D3 dusted. He's getting big. You don't like them crawling all up his butt. Pixie frogs, if you're going to get a pixie frog, know that it's a frog with a mouth and a belly. Whoa. He just kicked that roach all the way out of there. He's like, and I'm moving. He's like, awesome. If he jumps out and grabs your titty, you better not hurt my frog. Sarah's got a bad tendency of bitch slapping something that jumps towards her. So we got to watch out. <laughs> that's why I'm moving. <laughs> that's, that's probably where they better. Don't kick a roach in my mouth. <laughs> that's why I asked for a bigger container. He does not need to be in this looking dinner with us. Look how big he is, people. Can you believe this? He is huge. They're making him. Oh, he's still eating. He's still eating them. Look at that big head. How can anyone not love something like this? One of the reasons that these are going extinct in the wild is because people eating them. Now, I've always ate frog legs myself, but I've always ate frog legs myself, but the, I seen the Aborigines grab these guys and put the whole frog in a pot and they eat the whole frog, I guess. Everything but the bones. That's the skin and all. They don't even gut them. They put them in this big cast iron pot and cook them. And that's not the main reason these are almost extinct either. There's rhinoceroses, elephants, and other stuff that where they lay their tadpoles, their holes get dried up and dried up, and then they'll roll on the tadpoles and kill all their tadpoles. And then whatever tadpoles are left that barely make it, almost to a frog, got these little weasel or meerkat looking things that come up there and eat them. So, like, I don't know. Lie. His other brother can't deny when you... An itty bitty roach walked past his face. It's <laughs> crunched. You have to keep on with that. I like that. Hey, I like that paradox spot. Watch him. Look, watch him back kick. That, that's another thing. I, wa I watched a video. I think it was National Geographic or something like that. The male frog will get in a massive fight with another male frog, and then six or eight females will uh, fight each other to see to turn him on. Get in the breeding mode, and then whichever of the females win the battle will then come and breed with the male. And then, after all that's done, the females go their own way. They have all the babies, and the male sticks around and guards them with He's his like life. A pit bull is a frog. Yes, I love him. This I can't even see how this can be considered a frog. It's it's totally different. Look at these muscles right here, people. That is pure muscle. He is a badass frog. I don't care what anybody says. This is one of my favorite animals I own. How long have I had him? Whoa. Since 2015. We got him at the Daytona show. Yeah, I got this at the Daytona show. When? 2015. 15, 16, 17, 18. Mm -hmm. I thought we went in 14 or 13, right? Yeah. 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, I guess he's only three years old. That no, was almost. How old was he when he got? I don't know. He was a size of a quarter when I got him. I guess he's about three years old. That's fine. They live for about 20. He's absolutely amazing. Are you going to eat these things or not? Got all these just for you. It's for you. Are you full? Don't get my finger. Don't get my finger. Are you done? Are you done? Nope. He ain't done yet. Oh, he's kicking stuff. Oh, he's eating. He's going to eat people until he don't want to eat no more. <laughs> I titled this video about reticulated pythons, but it's really about a lot of stuff. I'm trying to cover a lot of stuff that I don't usually cover with you guys because it's important that you see that. What, dude? Oh, there's something right here. Get these. Get that. Get that one out there. Get this one right here. They do have teeth like a piranha. What I was going to say earlier. So if you get bit by one, you will bleed. Is anybody, is this interesting to anyone? 
I eat catfish for, we'll say catfish for insane and big. Yeah, I caught a three and a half foot long catfish the other day on a cane pole. It straightened my hook first time and then, and I caught it on a super worm. On a super worm like I feed these uh, animals around here. Yep, caught it on a cane pole. I don't know anybody that's ever caught a three foot catfish on a cane pole. Edward Tindall did off cam for some reason. I think we took a picture there. of it and put it on Facebook. Didn't we? Have we ever put a picture of that on Facebook? That big catfish? Oh. Yeah, I think we uploaded it on Facebook. Look at him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> you got a low job on people. He's going to sit here and eat and eat and eat and until there's nothing left to eat. In House of Invertebrates, I love your Facebook channel. Your Facebook page that you have set up. I don't think I've seen. No, you have. I've been, I extremely, have. I've been extremely oh. busy, people. But I'll see y'all. Don't comment on everybody's stuff. I apologize. I stay busy. Don't get me a job. Don't get me a job. Whoa. Yeah, I got a herd roaches. I'm a, I'm a cockroach her herder, oh people. Oh, my gosh. Look, I just heard them right into the, right into the Jabba's mouth. See, I got my frog trained even. People say I can't train stuff. I beg to differ. I got my frog, or my frog has me trained, I should say. He's got me serving him. I bet he thinks that he's a small god on this planet. He has all his food and water brought to him. He has all the air conditioner heating provided for him as he needs it. You yes, Sarah squirming back there. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going, Java? Don't go somewhere, Don't go somewhere. You fool. Mike, are you, you fool, welcome darling. to Java? You fool, darling. Hey, Mike, are you welcome to Java? You want to see Java? Come put your hand in his mouth. That's what happens. No. Give me that hand. Give me that hand. Give me that hand. Don't see your hand today. You're not going to. <laughs> Why? What's wrong with Java? Yeah, what'll happen if you put your hand in Java's mouth? Hey, I'm bad. Oh. He'll bite you? Yep. Bite. Yeah, bite and he bit me. Remember when he bit me? Yep. Who made, who made Daddy get bit? Yeah, that was Mikey's idea. Mm. Boom. Get it, Java. Yeah, we're fixing my Java up. He cut that one in half. Okay. No, he ain't cut it in half. He just broke it. He bit him. Oh, there he goes. Oh, y'all, Dabba's going to eat and eat and eat until there's nothing left in here. Where's my order at? Eat that, Daddy. Yep. He's so fat, he can't move. <laughs> he can move. Oh, he can move. He can jump, even. Yeah, I don't mind jumping. Dabba likes water. Watch him peeing. Whenever he gets some water, he pees, people. Look. That's what Dabba pee looks like. Fill her up, Java. See how clear that pee is? Yeah, that is. Look at it, look. This is how they, uh, Aborigines also survive in the desert where these frogs are. Because these frogs during monsoon season will eat or, or drink a bunch of water. And then they will encase themselves in a slimy substance that mixes with the dirt and becomes like a, like a chamber, like a cryostasis chamber. But this water is drinkable. It don't have the amount of ammonia like other urines do. And the aborigines are such survivalists out there. They have found out that you can drink that. So they'll pee these frogs up, drink the pee, bury the frog back so the frog still lives and it goes. So you got two different kinds of people. Ones that eat them almost to extinction and one that uses them as points where they can walk through the desert and be able to make that trek without dying. So these frogs are not only the most survivable species of animal on the planet, they can help humans survive by drinking their pee. Oh, what happened? Oh, I about messed up the computer. I hope y'all still see all that. He ain't tempting nothing. He's not tempting on getting out of anything. All right, friends, job of the hut. Yeah, they do get like 
does get very aggressive when stuff gets in his cage. All right. We have covered a lot of things, my friends. I'm going to cover one more thing with you guys, and I got to go. I got stuff to do. And my kid wants to play Xbox, and he can't do it when I'm on here filming because it's taken from it. I'm going to give you all a monitor and drapers about 40 update. There's the communal monitor and drapers about 40 update. When y'all see the transfer, I just grabbed out of there and set it in here. As y'all can see down in there, they've made new tunnels and everything else. Wish you guys all peace, love, and happiness and all that good shit. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. Share my videos. Watch my other videos while you wait for new ones. I already showed them. And um, I also want to apologize for not daily of vlogging like I was. I've got to get me a new camera. And when I do, everything will be good. And if I don't, I don't know what's going to happen because I'm going to Tinland. I wanted to bring a video with you guys back. No, I don't. Because they don't like being handled. I uh, He tolerates it, but I don't handle him very much. Your hands have to be extremely clean when you do. If you don't, um, stuff in your skin might mess with their skin. Java is also getting an indoor-outdoor enclosure along with the two retakes because I will be breeding him. I'm looking for a female. Job of the hut now. Fucking over fun one. We take turns on taking care of the animals. No, we're both constantly taking care of them. There ain't no turn they can do it. Oh, you said that. Daytime, yeah. Oh, this this is just scratching the surface. What's in this room? I got so many more critters I take care of, and then I take care of other people's critters too. We deal with cows and horses and hogs and. Deer maintenance for different hunters that are around here have me um, putting out corn and doing stuff for taking care of even wild animals. Then we run a snake removal service, and then we've got a critter removal service where we go and pull possums and coons or whatever that might get killed from somebody's house. We deal with all kinds of stuff you wouldn't even believe. Once again, guys, talk to you later. Love the live stream as always. Thank you, Tennessee Tarantulas. Oh, yeah, Miss Piggy. Thank you, Allison Cuthbert. Thank you, Anthony. Anthony D. Gaming. James Boslett. Um, Small Town Exotics. House of Invertebrates. DEA Exotics. Sarah Tindall. Um, thank you, the washing machine. Thank you all for tuning in. I'm gonna go through here. I want to thank everybody personally. I wish I could, so I could see everybody. Okay, who do I miss? Small town exotics. Thank you guys for watching. Um, the nine-year-old kid that wants a snake. I can't find his name, but thank you for watching in the future. Because I'm sure you're going to watch this. Um, that's about it. Y'all don't forget to share. Hit the little bell icon so you know when I upload something or when I'm going live so y'all don't miss it. And hit the like button. Yep, with your pinky toe. Yeah, what for a night? <laughs> um, I think I covered everyone. If I didn't cover anyone, I apologize. You can leave it in the comments below. Get a shout out next time. Thanks, guys. Edward Tyndall and Mikey Tyndall and Mommy Tyndall out. Hi, whoa, 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 whoa. Harry, who? Potter? Harry? Oh, yeah, Harry. Harry, that's the nine year old. Shout out to you. And nine years old yeah. is an awesome age to start getting a spider ball python. Emma. Okay. And so many other people. Break it in here. Good luck with all your recruiters. Thank you to Anthony. Appreciate it. Y'all don't forget to go watch. As soon as I end this, go watch uh, um, Pixie Frog Mayhem. I want you guys to see that video that I put out because that's the whole story of 
the um, job of the hut. And y'all can also uh, go check out each other, Tennessee Tarantula and well, everybody else while y'all wait for me to make some more videos. Mikey loved it. Yes. All right. I got to go watch some of you guys' stuff. Peace and love.